My first guest, a beautiful and talented young actress whose movies include Clueless, Girls Interrupted, and Eight Mile, latest film with Sin City, the number one picture in the country. She's also looking quite fetching. There she is on the cover of the new issue of Maxim Magazine. This is the kind of stuff that gets middle-aged men in trouble, okay? <laughs> Happily married, 24 years. I'm just looking at the magazine, but this is what... Just look at it, Jay. Just look at it. That's right. This is how you get in trouble. She's <laughs> quite delightful. The always beautiful Brittany Murphy lady. Welcome back, kid. Oh, you look lovely. Thank you. Look, you. you look beautiful. How are you doing? Good. I'm was... in a bit of a precarious situation what because happened? can I help? My no, I'm all right, really. My uh, my necklace is hitting my microphone, oh. so we're just going to. Okay. I'm going to speak like this. Okay. Now, where's, the, where's the? All right. Well, we'll be. We're, we'll be all right. Okay. Well, now uh, congratulations on your rather fetching. Uh, uh. <laughs> Has your mom seen this? I know. My mom did see it. Yeah. How yes. is she? All right. Um, Oh, please. Yeah, yes. Yeah. She was happy that I was wearing a Dolce & Gabbana bra. She oh. thought oh, that, that, that was cool. You know, cool. I thought there was a Dolce & Gabbana bra. You know, <laughs> Kevin and I were talking about notice. that. It is that, huh? Yeah. yeah. Now, uh... Now, let me ask you about this. That's now. actually my character from Sin City, Shelley. Okay. Yeah, and Really? It looks like you. It... Well, it does? No. <laughs> now, you're in the... You have a, a fold-out. Now, tell okay, me... Tell me is, about this. This seems a little different for you. I will say... <laughs> I... <laughs> Okay, <laughs> clap for the naked body. Basically, basically, um, the reason that I love how you unfolded that, that was funny. The reason oh. that I chose to do this was because, <laughs> there, was because. You know, this is her 8 by 10 by the way, which she sends out. Yeah. When she goes for auditions, this is what she sends out. It was very important to me that yeah. the magazine was kind enough to put a pin up in, inside mm -hmm. For the troops. Oh, you see, and, for the troops. Yeah, my cousin is overseas right now, okay. and uh, he's a marine. Semper Fi, oorah! Oh, <laughs> and I, I, just, I just wanted to make sure that. And Maxim's, Maxim's doing a very kind thing, which they're yeah. sending, I believe, over twenty thousand magazines oh, overseas. That's very nice. So the guys can enjoy, and so can your cousin, which seems almost creepy. But that's yes. okay. and, <laughs> No, to our brave hearts in the States and, oh, okay. and there. Well, that's No, wonderful. I'm busting my cousin's chops. Okay, all right. <laughs> now, last time we were here, you bought a house. I know that. Okay. That's, that's true. You're all grown up now. You got the house. Well, now, yeah. I remember you had allergy issues. There was something with the furniture. What, what was it again? I'm, I... It was down. Oh, down. Down. Okay. I'm allergic to down feathers. Oh, and, and what it, happens when you... Well, when I go to... Ho like, when I stay in hotel rooms, right. new hotel rooms, I always have to ask them to please... I, I go with the cheap flat foam pillows. Right, okay. I like them better. You might want to try well, a Connell Lodge or something. Maybe it, <laughs> you're just going a little upscale. You know what? It doesn't offend me at all. I, the last time I stayed in the Connell Lodge was a year ago. Oh, okay. In Florida. All right. I didn't yeah. want to know what happened there. But no, let me it was ask depressing. You. It was for a funeral. It was very depressing circumstances. Now, now tell me, what happens when you sleep on down? Do you break out? What happens? I get bad dreams, nightmares. Oh, really? um, yes. And that's one of the side effects because they say, now I don't, I'm going to get this all wrong. Um, Basically, I've heard that in, I think it's ink in, oh, that now, please, if you're going to write in about this, like, in a little bit, I'm mortified. Um, in, I believe it was some, some uh, ink in culture. Ink in? <laughs> I you think mean it Inca? Was, yes. Oh, okay. It, it, they believed that the, the, the mind actually controls the stomach. You know when you get nervous, that nervous right. feeling? Right. Okay. Your stomach starts to get butterflies. Okay. So kind of one thing can control the other, can contro right. control the other. So right. it's all sort of a matter of belief. But because my stomach would, my, so it drove my stomach crazy because I would have these terrible nightmares. I'd wake up with the down. Also, along with congestion, big red eyes, and wa you know, watery okay. red eyes, normal allergy. Symptoms. I think so. You lost me with the Inca stomach thing, but let me ask you. Yeah, I lost myself well, there. Do, do you remember your dreams? Do you, want, do you wake up and remember, oh my God, this happened? Do you just remember you had a bad dream? Generally, I do, and, and most of the time I do. Uh, my, when I was a child, because I used to have night terrors, my aunt taught me night how to... Night terrors? Night terrors, where you, you wake up screaming, and my, my aunt taught me how to dream travel, which I didn't know was something that... Is your aunt you an Inca do. by any chance? <laughs> You know, I really don't know the answer to that question. Now, what, what is dream traveling? I don't know. I, I never, never met her father. 
I never heard it. What is dream, dream traveling is a phrase I picked up when I was when I became older, but it's actually where um, you know she always said if you're ready, if you're having a bad dream, yeah. just you can al you always have the power to stop it. It's something with inside of you, and you can always stop it and say no, I don't want to be here right now, and change the dream and make it happy, and know that it's a dream. And I've always dreamt that way ever since. Well, how do you do that? How do you change your dream and you go? Uh oh, I like it. Oh no, it's the wrong girl. It. I mean, oh, sorry. No, 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 not that. You just kind of can see what's. I don't know. Has anybody in the audience ever done that, or, or do you know? <laughs> that? Thank oh, you. Oh, the guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that very sensitive guy up there. <laughs> or, no, that's LSD uh, you took, sir. That's totally the <laughs> whole you, different kind of dream travel. Basically, you or you can make yourself wake up. All right. So yeah, okay, that didn't do well. All Let's right. try the next. Well, let me ask show. you something else now. <laughs> Have you got your driver's license yet? Now, you've been working on this for, is it 15 years? All right, I'm 27. I have to get my driver's license. Yeah, you should. Wait, you'll love this one. Okay. okay, I have to now get my driver's license specifically by June because I'm going to London to shoot a, an extraordinary film, new film called Love and Other Disasters. Okay. And I have to drive in London. Now, okay. you do the math. With me learning to drive, I need oh, yeah. an American license. So I'm going to learn to drive on this side of the road, on the, yeah. Keep dreaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, look, we'll take a break. More with Brittany right after this. Be right back. I'd love to hear it with a muzzle. Welcome back, Tiger with the Brittany Murphy. Well, you always talk about this. Could you, well, you're kind of klutzy, aren't you? That's not being a <laughs> I mean, you've broken Can you your, imagine how many, that? How many times have you broken your nose? Thrice. Okay. Wow. I have okay. broken it three times and never played any sports, mind you. Okay. So that's kind Just of a lot. Just being klutzy. Correct. What was the last time you broke it? Almost the other day, but thank goodness it didn't happen. But the last time I, I broke it was, oh, my mom and I, um, okay, you're my mom, I'm me. Okay. We're going to give each other a kiss goodnight. Oh. And, but, don't worry, but, <laughs> but we don't tell each other. So all of a sudden, we quickly whip around and say, Boom, and, you and broke your my nose. nose clunked on her forehead full speed. It was like a quick boom, crack blood. So I go to the bathroom and I, I take it and I had watched my, my cousins were all champion soccer players. Okay. I was, I'm kind of in a sense, half of my, I'm an only child and right. I'm to my mother, but I grew up with, uh, as the youngest, the, the youngest of five. I have four older cousins. Okay. Um, who are all incredible, three of them incredible soccer players. So, girls, Jersey. Growing up, I'm a kid, I'm watching my, my cousins get their nose, noses, just my uncle would just pop them back in every time they broke their nose. <laughs> so I just thought, what would Uncle Billy do? What would Uncle Billy do right now? So I went, okay, I just got to reset my nose and it's going to hurt. But I sent my mom specifically out for ice in the other room because she gets very squeamish. Yeah. Sorry, mama, but I don't. And... Um, and I went into the bathroom, I closed and locked the door, and I just went, okay, you can do this. And I reset it. But it's not the same shape that it was. It's still quite crooked. Yeah, that'll happen. Actually, I just wiped yeah. off the makeup that makes it straight. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't gotten it fixed. And I actually did a film right afterwards. Yeah, well, that... it looks okay. I mean, you can't, you know. Thanks. Looks like, maybe... like my face needed more character. Well, yeah. Like, <laughs> like you owed the mob some money, and hey, you know what yeah, you know, you do what you got to do. The other, there was a jacuzzi accident as well. A jacuzzi accident? Maybe yeah, this sounds better. Better. What do you think about that one? <laughs> no, no, nothing tawdry. Just a handstand and a jacuzzi. Again, why a, a handstand? dare? A dare. I like a dope. A dare. But and wouldn't then, your head be underwater if you were doing a handstand? Correct. Which I do with one hand because I can't. Oh, but then you're holding your broken nose. I have nose to hold my nose. Right. So yeah, I was just a ding dong. Right. And then the the other one, <laughs> um, the other one was from a car accident. Oh, okay. So that's validated. Oh, okay. I, I suppose. But that was okay. That that one yeah, that was, was not okay or pleasant, no, but you, you know, a little okay. bit better. Right. I thank you for telling a joke about me that was not mean in the opening monologue. That wasn't mean. That was just <laughs> it was not mean. No, that's what I'm thanking you. Sure, yeah, sure. yeah. I was nice. so nervous. I heard Jay is going to tell a joke about me in the opening monologue. You could only imagine. I'm sweating. Yeah. I'm being prepped by the extraordinary Mike, who, by the way has been aware of his dreams, who works with the show. So there's somebody else in the world. <laughs> and, and I'm not listening to a word he's saying. I am, but I, sorry. But I'm also watching the TV going, oh, God, when's he going to tell the joke? Oh, geez, he has the maxim. Oh, no. Oh, dear. I did it for the troops. Nobody knows this. OK. <laughs> oh, dear. And, and then finally, yeah. anyway, so thank you. Well, sure. sure. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure what you said. But all right, now to ask about <laughs> Now tell us about Sin City. What do you play in Sin City? Oh Lord, this film is incredible. Yeah, first I, I, of all, I feel 
completely and utterly privileged to be a part of this. Okay. And, um, Very provocative wardrobe. This is the actual wardrobe. This is the wardrobe from Sin City, the, actually. That's yeah, the, the uh, that men's shirt Kibini, was Clive Kibani, Owen. whatever it is, Brazier thing, whatever. It was, it is. That was Clive Owen's shirt, um, yeah. and not in that picture. And those are Elton John's panties, I believe. <laughs> Now there were, there My character's the barmaid at the local watering hole, okay. like Frank Miller would say, um, okay. who is the This is creator. based on the sort of, I don't want to call novels. them graphic novels. Uh, we call them books? comic books, but you can't call them that. They're graphic novels. Correct. They're, well, this, this particular specific, specific right. <laughs> no, this particular <laughs> series of graphic novels okay. is known as graphic novels, because if you're, if you're into the comic books in that world, okay. Frank is like a god amongst that world. You well, want, let's see. We have a clip here. This it, is a... Uh, this, this is any setup. This is well. You're in your underwear. Don't need any setup. Well, you know the gallant man in the film. Uh, Cl uh, Clive Owen plays Dwight, okay. and Dwight is going to save uh, uh, save Basin City. So let's take a look. Wait, what in the devil did you do to him? I just gave him a taste of his own medicine. I don't think he'll be bothering you again. He was from a while back, before you showed up again with that new face of yours. And it was only because I felt sorry for him. I'll call you later. No! Don't go! Shelly shouts something I can't quite make out over the racket of a passing police copter. No! It sounds like stop, but I can't be sure. Cool! Sin City, the number one picture in the country. Brittany, thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thanks for help sending out to the troops. That's very nice. Thank you very much. Brittany Murphy, be right back with David Tell right after this. Thank you.